So this question says, Nate walks 25 meters in 13.7 seconds. Let's write that down. Um, I also have a hunch, right? So anytime you're given a distance, which is 25 meters, and a time, in this case being 13.7 seconds, you're more than likely going to need to know the rate, right? So I'm going to jump ahead and just figure that out because it's really easy to do. Um, so I'm going to just take my 25 divided by 13.7 in my calculator. And what I find here is that the rate is 1.82 meters, which is M, per second. All right, I'm always looking for, like, what's that information that I'm getting without them giving it to me directly, right? So I got directly the meters, the seconds, but I can figure out the rate on my own. Then it says, if he walks at this same rate, oh, perfect. So, right, if he walks at this same rate, if he walks at this 1.82 meters per second, which of the following is closest to the distance he walk, He will walk in four minutes? All right, so now we're looking for how many meters, right? Because that's the distance. And plus all the answer choices say the unit meter, so you know that. Um, in four minutes. So anytime I see a question like this, I always start off with thinking about this through a unit analysis type of idea, which means I want to start off with the units that I'm given. So four minutes is the amount of time. And I want to convert this to meters somehow. How do I get from four minutes to meters? Well, I have this rate of 1.82 meters per second, right? But I need, I need my, my units to cross out. How do I get rid of minutes as a unit? Well, I know that every one minute, and I'll just abbreviate minute, it's the same as 60 seconds, and I'll abbreviate seconds. And I know that for Nate, every one second, he walks 1.82 meters. So what have I done? I've created a, an equation here where my units that I don't want, minutes and seconds, will cross cancel, but the unit that I do want, right, the meters, right, meters, is here, right, and I've, I've included all of the information that, that I've been provided, the four minutes, and then the rate here. So let's multiply this out, so four times 60 times 1.82, what I'm getting from that is 436.8 meters is how far he'd be able to go walking at that rate and the question asks us to find the closest distance not the exact distance so therefore the correct answer here is choice b 450 meters